Hello, welcome back to my channel and for those who are new to my channel, my name is Ruby and today what I'll be sharing with you is my favorites of September and yes, I know I'm a little late, it's like a few weeks into October already but I've literally tried to film this video like three to four times and yeah, it's it just wasn't working but finally I'm crossing my fingers, I hope this one works out but before I show you my favorites, let me just quickly tell you a couple stories that I want to share with you first, I got my eyebrows done at a place that I did not know nothing about and basically instead of waxing my eyebrows off, she waxed my skin off so this area, I don't know if you can tell, was super red and it was like infected in this area which is another reason why I wasn't able to film um, it's just, it was really, really gross. So yeah, basically what I learned from this, I guess, or what I want to share with you is that make sure you go to a place that you trust, whether it's like your nails, your skin, because you never know what can happen, and I had to learn it the hard way, so yeah. I just want to share that quick story with you and the next story I want to share with you is I went to a mall and I met this lovely lady she randomly came up to me and she told me that she watches my videos and it honestly made me smile and it made my whole day so if you're watching hi and also I want to thank you guys for still supporting me and always supporting me even I have even if I haven't been uploading regularly you guys are awesome that being said let's move on to my September favorites first thing I want to show you is not makeup related but girl let me tell you I have been obsessing over this I feel like so chic when I'm like holding it and it's none other than my new agenda and it looks like this and it says 2015 right there I know it's quite big but I'm a very visual person and I like to write and I can't just put it on my phone because I don't know it just doesn't work for me but this definitely works for me because it's nice and big and I can write a lot of things and it's definitely helped me like remember like appointments that I would not have remembered so again it looks like that it has like books everywhere and it has like a little strap and it's just nice and like big it has like quotes in it by the way i got this at chapters and it's by kate spade and look at this quote lose yourself head in the clouds like how can you not love this book i just really love it and i like just displaying it on like my vanity area it's just i don't know it makes me feel very fashionable especially like when i'm holding it when i'm going to school i don't know that's just me but anyways i really have been obsessing over this agenda oh and also i'm not sure if you noticed but my hair is has changed again. It's gotten darker. I went into the salon to get it toned, but for some reason I came out and my hair was darker. But I actually ended up really liking it a lot better. I feel like it's a lot healthier and with fall coming, you know, you want to go darker anyways. So yeah, I really like it. But what I've been using to help maintain like the shininess is this Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. And I got it at Salon, it's usually like $34, but it was on sale around for like 20 something, so I had to pick it up. But I really like this because, like, I know it's all over YouTube and I finally jumped on the hype, but I, I think it's definitely worth it because my hair feels so much softer and it's definitely helped condition it a lot more. I only use it a little bit, but ever since I started using it, I have seen a difference in my hair. And I don't, to be honest, I don't do much to my hair, I like to help keep it healthy. But now that I've been using this, I think I'm going to purchase a bit more from the line because it is a great product. So I'm hoping that other products will do the same and make my hair nice and healthy looking. So again, this is a Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. So the next product um, I purchased because I've seen it all over YouTube and again, I want to see what the hype was about. Plus, I'm a makeup junkie. I'm like a makeup hoarder. So Anyways, it's none other than the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's oil-free. It's the pore minimizing one, and it's the purple one. I've already put a dent in it because I've used it every single day since I've gotten it. And it's like, like honestly, such a good primer. Probably my favorite primer right now. Any foundation you put on top of it just looks super flawless. Actually, I was using the Professional before this. I liked it. It helped with my pores, but... Throughout the day, I got super oily, and before I used to have like normal to dry skin. Now I have like super crazy oily skin. I have no clue what happened. Anyways, so I'm looking for something that'll help control my oils, and this definitely does. At the same time, it minimizes my pores, so why not, right? I really do really like this, and 
I can see what the hype is about and I am obsessed and I can't put it down like seriously every single day like I can't I don't know when I put foundation on without this primer it just isn't the same anymore so I had to mention it and again it's a smash fact for a minimizing primer so now I want to show you a foundation that I've been loving because it also helps control my oils and don't get me wrong I'm still obsessed with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation that'll be forever in my drawer like forever ever but I really want to try something new because I don't know like I hate touching up during the day being a mom and a student especially at school I'm like doing a bunch of things then I look in the mirror and I'm like whoa that's that's just like shine ball right there so I want a foundation that I didn't have to worry about that and I picked up or I've had this for a while but I started finally using it and it's the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation it's mattifying and it's oil free and I got it in the color beige it comes with a pump so it's very sanitary and let me tell you I use this um, Sephora Pro Airbrush number 55 brush and these two together just makes your foundation just look so airbrushed and so beautiful and so flawless and if you only use a tiny tiny bit like it's not noticeable that you're wearing foundation it is very buildable it's like a medium to full coverage they say but I'd say it's like a light to medium anyways these two together is just so flawless like you 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 just look like you're airbrushed so I really like that but the main reason why I like this foundation is the fact that it definitely does control your oils like I put it on around like 6 in the morning because I tend to leave early for school because I have to do quite a bit of things before I get to school and the, by, by the time I get home which is like later in the afternoon to like kind of like Sometimes in the evening, seriously, my foundation has, it, it looks like it hasn't budged, it looks flawless, and my oils don't seep through. That's the one thing that I really love about it. I don't have to worry about touching up, and that's like a plus, 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 especially, like I said, for being a mom. So, yeah, this is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. So, if you're oily like me, girl, you gotta give this a try. I promise you, you'll love it. And there's been studies, actually, that say that, um, the more you use this, the better your skin gets, so I don't know how that actually works, to be honest with you, but hey, that's a plus in my book, so yeah, I've been really loving this. Next, I have a couple skincare products. I am getting quite a bit older, and I'm worrying about my skin a lot more than I used to, so I've noticed like I've gotten bags under my eyes, especially since like if I study late at night, and like dark circles, and they're, they've just been really bothering me because they've gone to the point like I can't even cover it up with concealer, and that's like bad. That's like really bad if you can't cover it up with concealer. Well, at least for me, on my skin, it looks bad. So, that being said, I picked up this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, and it looks like that. Let me show you the consistency. It's quite a thick consistency, so you do have to take your time blending it. I use my ring finger to just pat it on and blend it, but it's definitely moisturizing. I feel like my under eye area like just soaks it all in, and in the morning when I wake up, they're not like as dark, and they look moisturized, so I really have been enjoying this. Another Kiehl's product I picked up is their Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Lotion. It's lightweight formula for all day hydration for normal to oily skin types. So it looks like that. It comes in 125 ml and I only have to use the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit and it definitely like controls my oil but it moisturizes my face. Like I feel like this is a life changer. It's made my face, it gave, it gave it a glow. Like it's so, it's been so moisturized that my skin's like thanking me. It's like, oh, here you go. I'm going to give you a glow because you're moisturizing me. <laughs> that makes any sense. No, again, this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Lotion. Woohoo, we're almost done. Okay, I have two more products and it's regarding your eyelashes. So a mascara I've been obsessed over is this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Everybody's been using this, but again, I'm late. I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> Not really, but I really just decided to try it. I got it from uh, one of the points perks. That's why I actually tried it. I wouldn't have even thought of picking it up if I didn't get a sample of it, but let me tell you, this makes your lashes like so voluptuous. Like it gives it volume, it gives it length. Like I used to have, um, Eyelash extensions, I recently got it taken out because I was sick of like getting it redone all the time and like a lash falling. So this has definitely helped my lashes without, you know, having to add falsies. I just really like the look it gives and it 
it works magic. Like if you're looking for a great mascara that'll like open up your eyes and do magical things, this is the mascara you need to try. And last is also an eyelash product. <laughs> and like I said, I did just get my eyelash extensions taken out, so I feel like I'm not used to my regular lashes. I feel like they're a little bit like stubby and like not as full as I'd like them. So I did pick up this Rapid Lash Eyelash Enhancing Serum. And it looks like that, and this is how the applicator looks. So you just apply it from on a cleanse like face and cleanse eye area from the inner corner to the outer corner. Oh, by the way, you can also apply this on the sparse areas on your eyebrows, but I mainly use it on my eyelashes because I do have thick eyebrows and I don't want to irritate my eyebrow area even more than it already is. Anyways, I've only been using it for about two to three weeks. To be honest, I'm not consistent. I should be more consistent, but I've already seen a difference in my lashes. My lashes have grown like longer and fuller, and yeah, it's it's really a great product. I did hear though that once you stop using it, your eyelash go back like they go back to normal. So I will keep you updated. But as of right now, I have been really loving it. Yeah, again, this is wrapped lash. I picked it up here in Canada at Shoppers for around sixty something, but it is worth it because I feel so much more confident 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 without having to wear like falsies to school or like every day just like I'm able to rock my natural lashes again so yeah I've really been loving rapid lash okay I lied I have one more thing that I really want to show you because this is very important to me um, my gorgeous cuz Nikki got it for me as one of my birthday presents and I think it is just so thoughtful she got me this shirt let me quickly stand up Ugh. And it says Miss Be Truly with like a kissy thing right there. And I just am obsessed with this shirt because the, one, the fit is super nice. It's nice and tight. And I love the color and I love it. It says Miss Be Truly. Like it's just like I feel proud to be wearing it every single time I wear it. So if you're watching, cuz thank you again. I love you and I love this shirt. And it's definitely my favorite shirt of September and it's going to be my favorite shirt for a long time. All right, dolls. That's it for my favorites of September. Thank you so much for letting me share with you. I'm so happy you got to film this again. I'm crossing my fingers. Please upload. I really, really want to get this up. And I have a lot more videos coming out for you guys. I am still working on my lighting. I feel like it's like still super bright, more like yellow lighting. So my skin's not so pale so that when I do my makeup, you can actually see it. So once I get that going, stay tuned for my makeup tutorials because I have a fall look, um, fall makeup look that I am ready to shoot for you. Also, I do have a fall look book, which I'm so excited about that. I think my hubby is going to help me film it. So I'm so excited. All right. Stay tuned for those upcoming videos. And if you have not followed me on social media, please don't forget to do so. It's Miss Me Truly for Instagram. I have a new Facebook page, Miss Me Truly, and also Twitter. And message me anytime. I promise you, I will reply to you. And also, if you have not subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate it. And press the like button. Man, I feel like I'm asking for too much. Oh my god. But I really would appreciate it. All right. I hope you have a great day, night, wherever you are. Bye.